A violent outburst in Milwaukee. Never know what's going to happen inside a court. It's dangerous. Spit on and threatened. Courtroom dramas aren't just about lawyers duking it out. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison. Sometimes, convicts pull wild stunts to make their trials unforgettable. From tossing chairs across the room to bringing snakes as gifts for the court, they sure know how to make an impression. So without making you wait anymore, let's start. Being dragged away. The sheriff is investigating. Number one, jump attack. On January 3, 2024, Dioba Redden made his appearance in a Las Vegas court Accused of attempted murder and battery of a senior, Redden argued he shouldn't be sent back to prison, claiming he was in a better place mentally. But was he really? The judge wasn't buying it. With his lengthy criminal record, she made it clear she wouldn't be lenient. Just as she began sentencing him, Redden lost his cool. In a move straight out of a superhero movie, he leapt over the courtroom desk, tackling Judge Mary Kay Holthus against the wall. Court officials quickly jumped into action and a brawl broke out. Thankfully, the judge wasn't injured enough to need a hospital trip. Number two, Karen Wife. A husband filed a complaint against his wife for domestic violence. And as Judge Jennifer Edwards listened to his story, the accused, Melissa Hardwick, just couldn't keep quiet. Despite the judge's warnings, Melissa kept interrupting. So the judge handed her a 10-day sentence for contempt of court. But Melissa wasn't having it. As soon as the judge announced the sentence, she lunged at her. Security quickly intervened and restrained her, while the judge, looking both confused and disappointed, watched the scene unfold. Thanks to her outburst, her sentence jumped from 10 to 120 days. Number three, pinned down. Sidney Newsom, 27, showed up in court for domestic violence charges. After hearing his sentence, he decided to argue with the judge, who promptly signaled for his removal. The bailiff tried to escort Newsom out, but he snapped. Charging towards the judge, he was dragged back only to find a stack of papers, which he threw at the judge. Meanwhile, Newsom's mom was in the background, frantically begging her son to stop while the officer struggled to subdue him. Amidst the chaos, Newsom picked up a telephone and hurled it at the judge, knocking down a computer monitor in the process. The judge had enough. Rising from his seat, he single-handedly pushed Newsom and pinned him down on the table. Newsom's brother jumped into the fray, though it's kind of unclear whose side he was on. When more officers arrived, they took both brothers down, and the judge returned to his seat and leaned back. Number 4. Psycho Base Webb decided to try running over two officers standing outside Bourbon County Jail. After a high-speed chase, Webb was caught and brought to court. Judge Vanessa Dixon, who knew the officers personally, decided to step down from the case. Webb didn't like the judge being done with him and, in a disrespectful move, spat on her. And Webb's wild ride didn't stop there. While waiting for trial, he attacked an officer with a metal telephone and was linked to a woman's murder. Already facing lengthy prison time, it was later discovered he had taken the life of an ex-girlfriend over a decade ago. Let's hope this guy never sees the light of day because he's a real menace to society. Number 5. Backpack Launcher June Carson was called to court for a trespassing misdemeanor in Cleveland. He showed up without a lawyer, carrying a backpack. The judge advised him to get an attorney, hinting he could face up to 30 days in prison and postponed the trial. Not happy about it, Carson threw his backpack at the judge, but with a terrible aim. Fortunately, due to another case involving police officers, there were plenty of cops in the room. One officer jumped on Carson from behind and tackled him down. Never know what's going to happen inside a courtroom. It's dangerous. Number six, arsonist verdict. Back in 1995, 22-year-old Russell Reagan set a place on fire, tragically taking the lives of two children and was sentenced to life in prison. When he heard his punishment, he went from an upset to a full-on maniac. He shoved tables aside and lunged at the prosecutor. Fortunately, the officers quickly took him down, or who knows what else he might have done. He had to be carried out by the bailiffs wearing leg irons and handcuffs. Number 7. Where do you live? Bryce Rhodes, a triple homicide suspect, was brought into court with a spit mask on, and he wasted no time showing what kind of person he is. 
When the judge asked him to stop talking, he started yelling not-so-nice words and even threatened to find out where she lives. All the judge was doing was reading his charges and bond. But it wasn't the last time he would disrespect judges or other law officials. In another hearing, he lashed out because the judge wouldn't change his attorney as he had requested. He told a high-profile murder suspect he'd no longer represent him. Number eight, Snakes Unleashed. This guy brought three sacks full of snakes to court to protest the decision. First, he created a scene outside, yelling at officers and then trying to stop them from removing a man with snakes in his hand. Then, he released the snakes inside the court premises. Well, that kick to spread out the snakes was unnecessary. The officers scrambled to catch the man, while others ran from the snakes, which included some venomous ones like a king cobra. Number 9. Lawyer's Bad Luck In this case, the judge suggested delaying the suspect's next court date and asked the defense to complete a mental health report on Shabuznas. This set her off, and she attacked her own defense attorney, who was just sitting there, minding his own business. With such heinous charges hanging over her head, the one person who might support her was her defense attorney, and she decided to attack him. A deputy quickly intervened, wrestling her to the ground until more officers arrived. After Shabuznas got calm, she then sat there on the floor with no expression, no remorse. This girl seriously needs help. Number 10. Weed Laws Marijuana is legal in more than 20 states of the USA, but Tennessee isn't one of them. So when Spencer Boston got caught with some, he ended up in court. Representing himself, he started to rant about how ridiculous Tennessee's marijuana laws are and defended using weed. Without anyone noticing, he took out a joint, lit it up right there in the courtroom, and managed to take a puff before anyone realized what he was doing. Then, the officials jumped in, and Boston, addressing the other people in court, said, We deserve better. Boston says something like, We deserve better. They think we're Number 11, flying chairs. This guy decided to literally offer the judge a seat. He threw a chair, hitting the prosecutor in the ankle. The judge took cover, while Rhodes kept throwing chairs and even took down a computer. If you are looking to spend more time in jail, that's definitely the way to do it. And she says she's actually relieved that he is here behind bars. Number 12, Brother's Plan. We have seen people lose it after hearing verdicts, usually as an impromptu reaction, but this one was straight up planned. When the verdict of the suspect taking someone's life was being read, he gave his brother a look and a nod. As soon as the word guilty was said, all hell broke loose. The suspect and his brother started attacking everyone, turning the courtroom into chaos. Officers jumped on the attackers, people rushed out, one guy lost his shirt, and a female officer with a baton was teaching the convict a lesson. What did they think they would achieve with this? The convict just ended up getting his brother 16 months in prison, too. Number 13, Judge Chase. Man, this judge needs a raise. He was presiding over a case when two inmates made a run for it. While everyone hesitated, the judge was not about to let go. He went after the runners across the courtroom, down the staircase, and out till he caught one of them. He has some stamina. The judge kept the criminal in custody until the cops came to take over. What a hero. The two now face new charges of second-degree escape. That Number 14, escape attempt. Sitting in a glass-walled box at Shabinsky Court in Russia, this guy decided to bail out in the middle of his trial. He thought he could just sneak out while everyone was watching and walk away without hearing his sentence. First, he tried to squeeze out through a small window, thinking he was some kind of shapeshifter. When that didn't work, he managed to get through some small holes in the top of the box and tried to escape through the ceiling. But the officers were quick and grabbed his leg, even tased him from behind. He agreed to come back down, shimmying back into the box and asked to pull up his pants before getting handcuffed. No more silly escape attempts for him. Number 15. Choose your own sentence. This man was claiming continuously that it was not him who committed the crime, but the evidence showed otherwise. So the judge decided to play him. He asked him what a man who commits such a crime should be sentenced to. Then the judge gave him the exact sentence he told. If you ever find out who did them, they deserve to be under the jail. Okay. Number 16. Stupidity. Sometimes you don't need snitches to get you in trouble. Your own stupidity is enough. Just like this guy who showed up for a court hearing on a Zoom call while casually driving. You must be thinking, 
what is the stupid part of this? Maybe using a phone while driving? Well, the thing is, this man was actually appearing virtually in court to discuss his suspended license. He didn't even realize his mistake until the judge pointed it out. Number 17. Judge sentenced. Criminals reacting to verdicts is one thing, but how does a judge react when they are the one on the receiving end? Judge Tracy Hunter misused her authority to help her brother in a case back in 2014, making her a criminal too. When her six-month sentence was handed out, chaos erupted in the courtroom. An officer had to drag the former judge out like a toddler refusing to leave the playhouse. If she messed with the wrong criminals in the past and sent them to jail, they won't go easy on her now that she's in the same shoes as them. Number 18. Family attack. In courts, tensions run high. As was the case in this instance, the family of the victim could not contain their anger and attacked the accused right then and there. Thankfully, the cops were able to pin the guy down and arrest him before the matter could become worse. Number 19. Multitasker testimony. We have seen a guy smoke in court and another drive while appearing virtually before a judge. But when a courtroom nudges a regular guy who just wants to live his life, you get a bit of both. This witness in the infamous Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case started driving while being questioned and then casually started to vape. After he finished testifying, the judge called for a break, looking absolutely flabbergasted by what she had just seen. She even remarked that in her career, she had seen some bizarre things. But this took the cake. Number 20. Elbowed. Joseph Zila, a double homicide convict, called over his attorney, who thought Zila had something to say, and leaned in, expecting a whisper. Instead, Zila handcuffed and all flung his elbow up and struck the side of the attorney's head. The bailiffs quickly tackled Zila to the ground, while the attorney, like a champ, got back in his seat and told the judge that he used to box. So this hit was nothing compared to what he had taken before. I used to box. I've taken a lot better shots than that. Number 21, deputies defend. A violent outburst in Milwaukee. This man was sitting in court facing justice. That is when he tried turning around to face the family of the victims. The deputies were ready to prevent an altercation, stopping him from turning around. But things only escalated as the criminals started fighting off the deputies. He thrashed around, doing his best to get away. But in the end, he was dragged out for the courtroom. The criminal even tried threatening the family for the victim, the lowest of low. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison. Number 22, not hearing. And this man was listening to his sentence when he started mouthing off to the judge. The judge was not to be silenced by a petty criminal, though. As he kept on reading the charges, the criminal got more and more violent, trying to fight off the deputies. It was no help, though, since they dragged him out anyways. Number 23, father's love. Sometimes justice is served more swiftly than you imagine. The father of the victim was saying some words in this court in front of the criminal. First, he asked for five minutes alone in a room with the criminal. When that was denied by the judge, he asked for one minute. When the judge denied that too, the father decided to get his minute anyway and leapt at the sermon already to tear him apart. Unfortunately, he could not make it and was stopped by the deputies. Number 24, regular. When this criminal heard his sentence was 20 years, he lost it, yelling profanities at the judge. The judge pointed out that his outburst showed he wasn't sorry at all, or that was just acting. Manson claimed he didn't get a chance. The judge added six more years to his sentence while Bryant kept shouting. Well played, buddy. Number 25, ending career. So this woman finds out she's late to file court papers and just loses it and starts screaming right there in the courtroom. Judge Michael Backman, who's presiding over a trial, gets up and bolts after her as she tries to leave. He catches up 
orders her back, and when she takes a wrong turn, he guides her by the neck back to the courtroom. Once there, he sentences her to three days in jail for disrespectful and disruptive behavior. I mean, she just came to file some papers and now she's going to jail? Naturally, she tries to escape, but the deputies jump into action and haul her off to jail. Well, the backlash was so strong that the judge had to resign. So messing with this woman ended his career. Number 26, incompetent. Percy Phillips, suspected of a 1993 murder, was just sitting there in court, motionless, staring off into space while his defense made their arguments. His lawyer even mentioned that Percy was so frustrated he might explode during these hearings. And guess what? He did just that. When the prosecutors mentioned how he threatened the arresting officer, Percy flipped out, got up, and started toward them. An officer stopped him, but Percy pushed the table and toppled to the floor. Another officer told his colleague to step aside and quickly deployed a taser. The case Percy was suspected in remains unsolved, but his outburst didn't help his situation at all. Number 28, mistreatment. Delvin King was in a Maryland court representing himself in a gun possession case. This guy had already tried to flee the courtroom before, so they made him wear a leg cuff with a stun gun inside just to keep him in check. King started his argument by claiming he was a Moorish citizen, which means laws don't apply to him. The judge asked him to stop, but when King kept going, and when he questioned the authority the judge had, the judge ordered the bailiff to stun him. The officer moved the chair and zapped King. The judge, who was 72 and technically retired, got banned from the bench for mistreating a defendant. Considering his age and retirement status, it didn't hurt him much, but it sure saved others from his courtroom tantrums. Number 29, rage. Dexter Johnson was hearing the verdict. He collapses into his chair, realizing his actions have caught up with him. From the gallery, his mother's cries fill the courtroom, and that's when Dexter loses it. He starts knocking over chairs and tables in a fit of rage, but is quickly tackled by a dozen officers. This all went down in 2007, and Johnson is still alive, claiming to be mentally unstable. Buddy, if you can't handle your mum's tears, maybe you should have thought about the mothers of your victims before taking their lives. Number 30, ex-rugby player. The judge wasn't letting this man walk free without getting punished for what he did and sentenced him to 14 months. Calm acceptance? Not so much. He kicked open the door of the dock and started tossing chairs around. And if you're thinking they were weak throws, think again. These chairs were up to 60 pounds each. One officer dodged punches and tackled the angry ex-rugby player. Unhappy about his 14-month sentence, the suspect will now spend 22 months in jail after this outburst. A prison mate! Number 31. Threatening judge. Tobias Roman, charged with multiple felonies, showed up in court and things got off to a rocky start. When the judge asked him to stand, he rudely replied that his foot hurt. The judge asked again, more firmly, and Roman stood up aggressively, saying, or else what? Then he started interrupting the judge while his charges were read. The judge told him to be quiet. Roman snapped back that the judge needed to be quiet. Some nerve, right? Wait till you hear what he says next. When he didn't shut up after the warning, the judge had him removed from the courtroom. As he was being led out, Roman swore at the judge and threatened to take his life whenever he got the chance to see him again. For this threat and his other charges, he got under four years in prison. Imagine being that judge and knowing this guy will be out soon. That's terrifying. That's a wrap on people going nuts in courtrooms. From wild reactions to verdicts to judges stepping out of line, which of these clips shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments 
Oh, and before you go, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when we post new videos just for you. We will be getting more fun content to your feed daily. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.